What is up my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction and the point of today's video is don't get scammed. So today's Pokemon card opening is a very important one and a very informative one as well. It is something you should be watching out for all year long, every single year. But this information is extra important around this time of year. So today I'm going to help every single one of you determine the difference between real and fake Pokemon cards and booster packs. Now right here I have a real Pokemon booster pack and then a fake Pokemon booster pack. Ugh. Now Pokemon fans, before we jump straight into this, I gotta say this, do not buy fake Pokemon cards. One, they don't have any collectability. Two, they have no value. And three, they look like junk. Always stick to real Pokemon cards. But the point of today's video is you might not even know how to tell the difference between a real and fake Pokemon card. Maybe you are new to collecting Pokemon cards and I want to help you out. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the reason why I said that this topic is extra important around this time of year is because a lot of people are buying friends and family Pokemon card gifts and maybe they don't know a whole lot about Pokemon. Maybe you are one of those people watching right now, which if you are, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. I want to help you determine and make sure you are getting the right thing and the 100% real thing for your friend or family member. So let's go ahead and take a look at it right here. Now I have a lot of of examples. These are sealed booster packs right here. I have a lot of examples that we're going to go through in today's video. So hopefully this helps a lot of you out. And if it does, please make sure you leave this video a like or you let me know in the comment section down below. So right here, we have a real Pokemon booster pack and a fake Pokemon card booster pack. Can you tell the difference right now? Just looking at it before I even say anything, can you tell the difference? This is now of the set team up obviously you can see it right there on the front sun and moon team up but right here this one is the fake pokemon booster pack and then this one right here is the real Pokemon booster pack. Now you really can't tell this difference right here through the camera, but one definitely feels a lot different than the other one. This one has a lot of air in it. It's very, very loose. Now don't forget, this is the fake one right here. This is the real one. It just feels very loose. It feels very flimsy, like it could just pop right open. This one is very sturdy, very well sealed, and it feels like there's a lot of cards in there. This one right here doesn't feel like there's a lot of cards inside this one. So that is one of the first details. One of the second ones is the colors on them. You can tell with this one right here, you can tell a slight color difference. This one right here, which is the real Pokemon booster pack, is obviously a lot better when it comes to the color of the booster pack. And this one right here is a little bit more on the faded side, but that won't always be the case. Sometimes they're more on the faded side and sometimes they're more on the, uh, on the oversaturated saturated side when it comes to color. So I'm always going to keep the left, the, the fake one on the left and the real one on the right. So I don't have to keep referring back to it. So, and here is the back of the fake Pokemon booster pack. One thing to keep a note of is a lot of times you will see misspellings uh, on the booster pack or the card itself, or sometimes it doesn't even reference the correct set. So let's take a look at this one right here and see if it references the correct set. Um, Sun and Moon team up. Yeah, it references it. Um, it's talking about a lot of tag team Pokemon. So yeah, this one is referencing the correct set, but that always won't be the case. Another thing to really watch out for is the price. Yes, the price of Pokemon booster packs. You've heard this saying before, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. If you are seeing booster packs for a dollar, a dollar fifty, or even two dollars, most likely it's probably going to be a fake Pokemon booster pack. Now, obviously make sure you are buying from legit sources like your local card game shop or places like Target or Walmart or GameStop, places like that. You're always gonna be uh, guaranteed to get real Pokemon cards. A lot of times you'll find fake Pokemon cards at a flea market. And that is exactly where I found these fake Pokemon cards right here is at a flea market. They had a deal going on two booster packs for three dollars see right there if it's too good to be true it probably is so you can see that's that's too good of a deal right that's that's way too good of a deal um booster packs usually are around the 399 um us dollar price let's go ahead and, and open this one up right here this is the fake pokemon booster actually let's open up the real one first i think that's going to be a lot better we open up the real one first 
and then we open up the fake one. And then we're gonna get into booster boxes too, fake booster boxes. So, all right. I'm gonna do the card trick just like I normally would with a, a booster pack. This is the real one right here, the one that you want to add to your collection. Paris, Joltik, Blitzel, Energy, Metal Goggles, Golduck, Double Aid, Shaman Prism card, nice. And hey, a hollow rare, not bad, not bad at all. And then of course, the code card right there. Now here is the fake Pokemon booster pack right here. You can see, look, you see how loose that is right there? All the space in that booster pack. Yeah, not good, not good at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and look, you can even see like, look at that right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. The plastic doesn't even feel the same. I mean, look at that. Where is, where did I put that other plastic? Okay, here we go. I mean, you can see, you can you can tell a difference. You really can tell a difference. I don't know if it, how well it's coming through on camera, but you can tell a difference. So right there, I'm pulling it out of the booster pack and I can already tell a difference. I mean, that is clear as day. It looks like someone printed these on their printer at home. And a lot of the cards are facing the wrong way. Look at that. As we go through, there's one facing the wrong way. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this over. Look at that. Incineroar GX, obviously a fake. Any ultra rare um, is going to have that hollow, uh, hollow foil pattern on it, and that doesn't even have one. I mean, look at the colors. Look how faded it is. Not good at all. Zeb Striker, uh, Staryu, um, Charmander, Pokemon Communication, Execute, Energy. We have a Grimer and a Reverse Hollow. Pokemon communication. Now, as I go through the fake cards, make sure you're looking out, uh, looking out for misspellings and things along that line. And maybe sometimes they even put the wrong Pokemon name on there. Here is the back of a fake Pokemon card. Here is the back of a real Pokemon card. You can clearly tell the difference right there. The color is more vibrant in the real Pokemon card than the fake Pokemon card right here. And the size is different too. Look at that. The fake Pokemon card is sitting right on top. Let me use a different one. Fake Pokemon card is sitting right on top and you can clearly tell the size difference right there. Big, big difference. Yep, big, big difference. Um, and another thing, another way that you can tell um, is that there is no code card. That's right, there's no code card inside of these fake Pokemon booster packs. Real booster packs, are gonna have code cards. So that's another thing to look out for. So what I'm gonna do is purely for demonstration purposes only, uh, so I can help all of you out. But if you take a card that you might not need, so like maybe you don't need this energy card right here, if you give it a nice little rip, as you rip it, you will start to see this black line right there in the middle of the card. Now, if you do that to, let's say an energy from the fake Pokemon booster pack, Nothing, absolutely nothing. But right there on the real Pokemon card, you see that line right there in the middle. Now I only suggest doing that if you suspect that you might have a fake Pokemon booster pack and take something like an energy, um, something that you might not need uh, and, and do it. Now I did that for only demonstration purposes. I wouldn't do that under any other circumstances. So that is another way you can tell right there. Now I have a couple more booster packs that we are going to open up. Some of them fake, some of them real. Let's go ahead and open up the next one, which is Ultra Prism right here. Now this one, big difference. Big, big difference. You can see this one right here, fake Pokemon booster pack, real Pokemon booster pack. You can see this one right here, way oversaturated with the color. It's like someone was taking Photoshop and just took that saturation button and they just put it all the way to the right and uh, just uh, just cranked it up essentially. And, uh, and, and the color, I mean, you can tell the color difference right there. Huge, huge color difference. Real Pokemon booster pack, fake Pokemon booster pack. And once again, this one has a lot a lot of space, a lot of room in it, a lot of air. This one is nice and tight, perfectly well sealed. Let's go ahead and open up the real Pokemon booster pack. 
All right. And the only time I, I ever show uh, a fake Pokemon cards is when I'm trying to do demonstration purposes here on the channel to help inform all of you. Uh, I do not support fake items at all when it comes to Pokemon. Everything I have um, is, is absolutely 100% legit, real, licensed by the Pokemon company. I love the po I love Pokemon so much with all of my heart. So why would I want to show my support by owning a fake item? I love Pokemon and uh, I do not want to do that. So right there we do have a hollow rare and there's our reverse hollow. Now let's go, oh, code card right there. Let's get to the fake Pokemon booster pack. Now I, I understand sometimes it can be hard if, let me grab that actually sometimes it can be uh sometimes it can be really hard to tell the difference between a fake pokemon booster pack uh or a fake pokemon card and a real pokemon card especially if you're new to the game so that's why i'm doing this video alolan executor that looks like junk alolan dug trio alolan diglett i mean literally it looks like someone printed those from a printer alolan diglett unit energy oh we got a secret rare. How exciting. So Galio GX. So right there, that's going to tell you that's obviously fake. We got uh, an ultra rare and a secret rare in the same booster pack. Unidentified fossil, Drampa, shield on, and a really, really, really bad reverse hollow Pokemon card. Yikes. Not good at all. I mean, look at the backs of those. They're all uneven. The colors are really off. I mean, even the colors between those two and the same booster pack are absolutely horrible. Horrible. Here is the card from a real Pokemon booster pack right there. Fake right here. Real right here. Hopefully this is helping a lot of you out. I really do. I really do hope this is helping a lot of you out. Once again, if you do rip one of those fake Pokemon cards, no, no black line. No black line like we saw with the energy card. Okay, let's go to another one. We have Lost Thunder right here. So fake and real Pokemon booster pack. Once again, you see the saturation is cranked all the way up on this one on the left. And right here, this one is the good legit one that you want to own and add in your collection. Mm, yeah, I'm going to keep it right here just in case I need it. Need to reference it. Okay, we have ourselves a... Bruxish, Larvitar, Carbink, Chikorita, Scyther, Energy, Fairy Charm. Don't worry. I pick all the cards up. I'm just having a good time here. You, when you get energy, you can't help but control it, right? Pinsir, Kecleon. Oh, nice. Look at that. Full Art, Zara Aura GX. Positive vibes all the way. This is a real Pokemon card. The excitement is real. The happiness is real. Nice. That full art texture, which we are about to discuss here in just a minute. Let me go ahead and sleeve that real Pokemon card up. I'm using Cosmic Eclipse Elite Trainer Box Sleeves. Whoop. Right there. Set it up there. There is the code card right there. And then here is the fake Pokemon Booster Pack. Look, it was already even like... Kind of uh, opened up already. That, yeah. Absolute junk. It's like, it almost feels like saran wrap. That's what it almost feels like right there. It might be. We have a full art mina. We have a Genesect GX. Wormpole. Silcoon. Dustox. Cascoon. A beauty fly. Fairy Charm, and a Reverse Hollow Skitty. And once again, if you rip one, you see no black ink line in there like you see on the energy card once again. So fake Pokemon cards. I wish I had a trash can with me because that's where these are going. All right, there's the code card for that one. Whoosh. Now, I am going to open up some more Pokemon booster packs. I do have a bunch of legit ones that I'm going to open up. I have some Lost Thunder. I have some Team Up. I even have some more Ultra Prism right there that I'm going to open up. But real fast, I want to show you the difference between a real Pokemon Booster Box and a fake 
Pokemon booster box. And once again, price is always going to be your giveaway. A Pokemon booster box is normally going to be priced around $100, $120 US. Uh, sometimes certain Pokemon sets, the booster boxes can get as low as about $84. My rule of thumb is if it's less than $80, it's probably a fake Pokemon booster box. I know a lot of you see those booster boxes for $15, $20, $30. They're all fake, I promise you. So right here, one thing that you wanna look out for is the wrapping on the booster box. You see the wrapping on the booster box and the Pokemon logo and Pokeball printed all over the booster box. This is a real Pokemon booster box of Pokemon Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. It's still sealed. So you can see right there. So I'm gonna use this as a reference here in just a second. And then here is a fake Pokemon booster box. Now I always have uh, some of these things laying around. So when someone is, uh, I have a, uh, a family member that is trying to get a friend or another family member into the card game, I can show them these items and what they can watch out for. So right here is a fake Pokemon booster box. Already you can tell it's fake. I mean, can you tell the difference already? One is printed really, really good, this one right here, and one is printed really, really bad this one right here. And it's not sturdy at all either. And it's it's way too shiny. I mean, you can see the shine on that. Look at the lights, um, all my, my studio lights, look at them. You can see it shining right on the box. That is, that's, that's way too shiny. That's, that's absolutely way too shiny. So this one right here is the fake Pokemon booster box. You can tell it's just poorly, poorly constructed, not, not constructed well at all. Uh, whereas a real one, is very well put together and it will, um, it'll, it'll hold its own. Usually when you get a fake Pokemon booster box, the wrapping on it is just going to be almost like shrink wrap. Like if you were to buy a DVD or a CD, what's a CD <laughs> in stores? Um, you know, the shrink wrap on it, it's almost going to be like the exact same thing without without that Pokemon logo right there or the Pokeball. So that's also another big giveaway, but the price is a huge, huge giveaway. Now, before we jump into the uh, opening up those real Pokemon booster packs and going to the countdown calendar right back there, let's take a look at some ultra rares right here. So I have some fake Pokemon ultra rares and some real Pokemon ultra rares. This one right here, look at it. Look how badly printed that is right there. Not good at all. So that's a fake Pokemon card right there. This one right here is a hyper rare, hyper rare Pokemon card, disgusting. Um, you can see hyper rare Pokemon cards always have that texture on it. You can see right there up close, there's absolutely no texture on that card at all. I mean, just looking at that from a mile away, I personally can tell it's fake. I've been collecting Pokemon cards since the 90s. I can tell a fake Pokemon card from a mile away. Now right here is a real, Hyper Rare. And Incineroar GX, it's not the same Incineroar GX, but you can see the texture on this card right there. You see the texture all along that side. Nice texture, and it's printed really, really well. Look at it, you can tell the difference. It's obvious, it's so obvious, you can tell the difference. And the backs of them as well. I'm gonna sleeve that one back up. This next one is a really, really good example. Here is a fake Espeon GX and a real Espeon GX. So big difference in both of those, especially the border, right? And there is just, there's way too much shine on this card, way too much foil going on here. You can see this one, perfect amount of foil. You can still see the artwork. You can still read the card really, really nicely. This one right here is once again, a pile of junk. Next up, we have Lapras GX. So fake full art Lapras GX and then real full art Lapras GX. Once again, there is no texture on the card at all. See, no texture. Uh, once again, the color is way oversaturated. Doesn't look good at all. And then right here, perfect, perfect. You can read the card, not oversaturated, and you can see the texture on the card once again, and you can feel the texture on the card as well. So 
One's fake, one's real, one's good, one's not. So that one, that one's not, not the good one. This one right here is the good one. Uh, next up is Full Art Trainer Cards, Guzma. We all love Guzma, our boy Guzma. We love him. But unfortunately, this one is fake. Uh, we do know that Full Art Trainers have that, that, uh, uh, that, that texture on the card. You can see no texture. I apologize for my ring light right there. Uh, you can see there is no texture. The shine is way too crazy. And then right here on this red and blue, which is a real red and blue Full Art Trainer card, you can see the shine is nice, not, uh, not too bright to the eyes, and you can see the texture on there as well. There's the back. And there is the back of that one. So hopefully all that information helped you out. Like I said, especially around this time of year, you have to take extra precaution because a lot of people are out there trying to put negative vibes into the world by trying to sell fake Pokemon stuff. And we do not want to give them any business at all. We want to support the real thing. Whether you are a new collector of Pokemon cards or you are a long time collector of Pokemon cards, just enjoying that Pokemon nostalgia. Hopefully this video helped you out. Now my breaking family, let's end today's Pokemon opening on an extremely positive note by opening up some awesome real Pokemon booster packs right here. But first, we have to do our countdown calendar right here. So we are on day six, which is right here, right in the very middle. We are counting down to day number 25. So let's go ahead and open this one up. We are opening up one every single day. And if you don't know, there is a booster pack inside. So right there, we do see Piplup and Blastoise. Let's look at the nice uh, informational Pokemon fact that is right here. It says the curved antlers of Stantler subtly change the flow of air to create a strange space where reality is distorted. Oh, nice. And then right back there, we do see a picture of Stantler. So don't forget, we will be opening up one of those spots every single day. So Cosmic Eclipse, how you doing? Let's go ahead and open that up. And then I have another stack right here of real Pokemon cards. There's a code card right there that is going to go to this Porygon Z promo card. So I want to make sure I give that to you before I forget. Let's go ahead and open up the Cosmic Eclipse. I'm going to set that right over there. Set that right back there. I really hope that today's informational video helped you out. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I did something like that around the holiday season because it's very, very important, especially for people that might not know a whole lot about Pokemon or that are new to the card game. Um, I just want to help you out. That's, that's all I want to do. Flareon, Igglybuff, Will, nice. The best character card artwork right there. Secret Rare, Coughing from Cosmic Eclipse, and a rare Drampa. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and sleeve that one up right there. My sleeves are over here. Is that not the best character card artwork? It has to be, right? It's so unique and it stands out so, it's so different than all the other ones from Cosmic Eclipse. I kind of hope that they do some of these in future sets. Maybe the next Sword and Shield set? I don't know, who knows? Actually, actually I think we do know. The Sword and Shield set is out in Japan right now and uh, last I looked, I don't think there's character cards. So maybe in a future set after that. All right, let's go ahead and um, let's do Team Up. We got Team Up, we got Lost Thunder, we got Ultra Prism. I'll set that right over there, ever so gentle. All right, here is the goods right here. What I love, what makes me smile. Ponyta, Alolan Grimer, Cosmog, Litten, Grimer, Energy, Double Blade. Dangerous Drill, a Lonin Graveler, Reverse Hello Joltix, and a Rare Ninetales. And a code card for all of you, the Breaking Family, because I love you very, very much. I never keep any of the code cards in any of my videos. No, I always, I always just let you have them. I'll let you have them. So if you enjoy a good code card, you know you can always come to this channel and grab yourself a code card. I always suggest hitting that bell notification icon right at the bottom of your screen. That way you get notified soon as a new video goes live and you can kind of rush over here, leave a comment, leave a like, 
maybe grab yourself a code card. They do go fast, so that bell notification icon is a good idea. And while you're at it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Become part of the Breaking family. Uh-oh. My computer just randomly turned on over there. I think there's a ghost in here. There might be a haunter. All right. You all keep watch of what's going on back there. All right. Code card for the Breaking family. Let's go ahead and go into Alter Prism, my absolute favorite favorite i don't know now that we have all the other sets unbroken bonds unified minds cosmic ellipse is is ultra prism still my favorite sun and moon set and the answer is yes it is it is and it always will be my favorite sun and moon set gibble rosalia turtwig krogonk gibble do it with me now energy electric memory skunk tank her ugly. We don't think you're ugly. We think you're beautiful. Just like every single one of you. You're beautiful. Buneri. And a Magirna for the rare in that one. And a code card. So we actually did... Oh. Oh no. I lost my Zara Aura somewhere. Oh, there it is. I want to make sure it gets to stay up there in the VIP section. Let's go into Team Up. I'll put this right back there. Ever so gentle. So two cards in the Pokemon VIP section right now. The very important Pokemon section. Let's see if we can get a third member up there. Mareep, Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Energy, Rapidash, Return Label, Kangaskhan, Kakuna, and a Gyarados. Nice. Gotta love those Kanto vibes. Gyarados is just pure nostalgia, is it not? 100% nostalgia. That's what you are, Gyarados. There's the code card for that one. Sun and Moon, Lost Thunder. Put that right over there. All right, here we go. Also, if today's video helped you out, make sure you share it out so other people of the Pokemon community or people that you know um, have friends or family members that uh, are getting into Pokemon. Maybe this video might help them share this video out so we are all knowledgeable when it comes to this stuff. Pupitar, Counter Gain, Mushroom, and Ho-Oh. The more you know, right? And Ultra Prism. There's the code card for that one. Ultra Prism, come on. Come on, there's gotta be an ultra rare in here. Let's make it happen. I'll set that right back there. But do I want to end the Pokemon card opening right here? I do see three more booster packs right over there. Might have to open them up. Magmar, Eevee, Sneasel, Carvana, uh, not Carvana, <laughs> Carnivine, Baneri, Energy, Spiritomb, Ancient Crystal, Gum Shoes, Turtwig, and a Leafeon GX Ultra Rare Pokemon card goodness with the code card. Let's go ahead and sleeve it up. And Breaking Family, I got Unbroken Bonds sitting right there. Let's open up some Unbroken Bonds for good measure. Okay. You never know. Maybe a Reshiram and Charizard Hyper Rare is in here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm only hoping. That would be pretty amazing if there was one in here. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, here we go. We have a Jigglypuff, Bellsprout, Nigglypig, Poliwag, Rhyhorn, Energy, Tentacruel, so cruel, Giovanni's Exile. Is this Hidden Fates? Did I start opening up Hidden Fates? Triple Acceleration Energy, and a Raichu, but we can't end there. Breaking Family, no, I just can't end it right there. Another Unbroken Bonds. I couldn't help it. I'm having a blast opening up Pokemon cards. We're having a good time together, right? Caterpie. Cottony. Ekans. Carvana. Ooh, na-na. Litten. Energy. Togetic. Kogus Trap. Power Plant. Tangula. And... Ah! Victory Bell. That's what Victory Bell does, right? Ah! It screams. And a code card. All right, you all talked me into it. You talked me into it. One more. One more Unbroken Bonds Pokemon Booster Pack. But that's it after that. No more. This is the last one. So let's make it good. I mean, we got three Ultra Rares right there. Okay, Unbroken Bonds. What do you have for us? We got a Tangula, Vidonat, Rattata, Goldene, 
couldn't grab it. Energy, Green's Exploration, War Tortoise, Gloom with the Drool, Porygon 2. Don't act like you don't drool at night when you sleep. I'm guilty of it sometimes, okay? Porygon 2. I'm just being honest. I'm only human. Being real with you all. Oh, code card. Boom, code card. And we are ending on a Wigglytuff. Oh, it's always the Wigglytuff. Just when you think it's not a Wigglytuff, it's a Wigglytuff. My breaking family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, remember that tomorrow is a new day. A new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people and I will see all of you, all of you, in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.